Welcome to another video in the overhead cost management playlist. In the video today, I will continue explaining the points related to internal order settlement. So today I will explain how we can create on the same internal order different settlement rules for different cost elements or for different expenses. For example, if in our internal order we have food expenses and electricity expenses and we would like to settle the food expenses to cost center 1000 and 2000 while the electricity expenses we want to settle to the cost centers 2000 and 3000. How can we do this on the same internal order? This can be done using a source structure. In the video today, I will show you how to configure and use source structures on SCE PS4 HANA. Here I have my SAP Fury and I am doing this demo with the assumption that you are following the playlist. So you are already familiar with the applications I'm going to use for internal order and you are already familiar with the different steps I do. This is why I will go faster with the demo this time. If there is anything you don't understand, then you need to follow the playlist. I will start by showing you the master data of the internal order I will use in the demo today. For this, I will go to manage internal orders. And I'm using the same internal order that I used in the last demo, which is 400, 120. Here is our order, so I will click here and click on manage internal order. So our order has the type 400, the order is released, there is nothing special here. This is the same order I used in the last demos. So I will click on edit and let's maintain the settlement rule. So far I don't have any settlement rules here. I will start by inserting a new line and let's review our example. So in our example today, we have in our internal order, food expenses and electricity expenses. We would like to settle the food expenses to cost center 1000 and 2000 and the electricity expenses to cost center 2000 and 3000. So I want to have different settlement rules based on different expenses. To do this, we are going to use the source assignment. So let's proceed. First, I will insert the first rule, insert. And this will be to cost center 1000. and 60%, so let's say this will be for the food expenses. And then let's add another line. Settlement receiver 2000, and this will be 40%. If I leave the settlement rule like this, SAP will apply this to any cost element that is posted to the internal order or to any expense. If I want to separate the settlement rules, if I want to have different settlement rules for different expenses, then I have to use the source assignment. So here I will go to the first line and then as you see here we have source assignment. So I will click here and I will choose food, source assignment 10. So this source assignment in the configuration is connected to the cost elements of the food expenses. I will show you this in the configuration after we finish this part. So this one is assigned to the source assignment 10 and here the second line will also be assigned to the source assignment 10. And then let's add two other lines. So now we have 100% on source assignment 10. Then I will add a third line, cost center also. So this will be for the electricity expense, which will be settled to the cost center 2000 and 3000. So let's say we have 30% on 2000. And this will be to the source assignment 20, electricity. And let's add another line. And this one will also go to a cost center, but this one will be 3000. And this is also, this will be 70%. So now we have 100% for source assignment 20, and it will also be on source assignment 20. So now we have two lines for source assignment 10, 60% to cost center 1000, 40% to 2000. And we have two lines for source assignment 20. 30% to 2000 and 70% to 3000. If I click on check here, SAP is not giving any errors because I have 100% per each source assignment. If I have less than 100% or more than 100%, then SAP will give an error. So for example, if here I put 80%, so now we have 150% on source assignment 20 and then click on check, SAP will show you this message. The total is 150% for source assignment 20. So you know there is something that's not correct. Now let's take it back to 30% and save. So click here on done and save. 
So now we have maintained our settlement rule. Let me show you the different postings on the internal order. And then I will proceed with the configuration to show you how to configure this source assignment. So I will keep this window open and let's open a new tab. To display the line items posted to the internal order, I will, I will use the same application that I use every time, which is display line items in general ledger. And here I will insert the internal order number. So 400, 120. And here we can see the postings. So open this menu here. So we have food expenses and we have electricity expenses and the other. The other expenses is posted in 0102. So this is period two. I did this so it is excluded from our example because today we are going to run the settlement on period one. So if you check here, we have food expenses that's posted in 1601. So this is period one. And we have electricity expenses that's posted in 1601. So this is also period one. So we have food expenses 4,000 and we have electricity expenses 20,000. And now I'm going to simulate the settlement so we can see how SAP will apply the settlement rules that we maintained. So let's open a new tab again. And now to run the settlement, I will go to overhead cost management, click on run settlement, and the order is 400, 120. Settlement period is one, fiscal year 2024. Test run and execute. Let's go to the detail list. Here we have the different receivers. So we have cost center 1000, 2000, and 3000, and we have the different values, which can be hard to understand because for example, the cost center 2000 is shared between the two, expen uh, the two expenses or the two cost elements. To understand the details, we can go to the receiver. So now we can understand exactly what happened. So cost element 12 was settled to the cost center 1000 and 2000. So the total value was 4000. We have here, uh, this should be 60, 40. So we have 60% to 1000 and we have 40% to 2000. And for 15, it was settled to cost center 2000 and 3000. This is 30% and 70%. So as you see, SAP applied different settlement rules for the different cost elements. This one was settled to 1000, 2000. This one was settled to 2000, 3000. And this is what we want to do. So this is because we assigned the source structure and the source assignment to our internal order in the settlement rule. Now let's switch to SAP GUI and I'll show you the configuration related to this. Here is my SAP GUI and I will go to the configuration, SPRO. And then here go to financial accounting, controlling, internal orders, actual posting, settlement, and here we have maintain source structure. If you want to understand all the details related to this, as usual, you can click on this icon, SAP will show the documentation. Now I will execute this transaction. And here I have the structure G0. This is the one I am using in the demo today. And we can see this from the settlement parameters in the internal order. So if I switch, if I switch to SAP Fury and let's go to the internal order master data here, display settlement rule. And here if we go to more, go to, settlement parameters, we can see that I am using the source structure G0. So this is the one I'm configuring now. Now let's switch back to SAP GUI. So this is the source structure we are using. If I choose this line and then go to assignments, we can see the assignment 10 and 20. And then for each assignment, we insert the cost elements that are included. All of these configuration details you can find in the configuration manual that I share with the elite members of the channel. Elite and the Platinum. So if you are an Elite or a Platinum member, you can go here to the Configuration Documents folder and you will find the different configuration manuals. These steps are maintained in the AG from Zero configuration. And this one I update for every video. I add new configuration steps. So let me show you where you can find it. So here is the configuration manual. Here you have the table of contents. If we go here to the index, we can find internal orders. So let me just find it here. Open PO migration, product costing. So internal order settlement you can find here. So in internal order settlement, I maintained how to define the settlement cost elements, the allocation structure and the source structure. You can find all the details there. 
So let's go back to SAP GUI now. So now we have two, we have two source assignments. 10 and 20. If we select 10 and then go to source, here I have inserted the cost element 3112. So this is our cost element that was for food or electricity, I forget. So this is the first cost element we have. And then if we go back, electricity, source, this is the second cost element. So we can either insert a certain cost element or we can insert from and to values or we can use a cost element group. I have already shown you how to create a cost element groups uh, in different videos before, so I'm not going to go into this. So now we understand how we were able to assign different cost elements to different source assignments in the source structure. And then we inserted the source structure and the source assignments in the settlement rules in the internal order. So when we run the internal order settlement, SAP is able to link the different cost elements or the different expenses to the different settlement rules. I hope the video is easy to understand. I started the video by showing you the end user part first, where we maintained the internal order master data, the settlement rule, and then we did a simulation of the settlement to see the result. And then I switched it to the configuration and I showed you how to configure the source structure and the source assignments. In the next videos, I will continue explaining points related to internal order settlement. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos. Also, if you would like to get access to the member exclusive configuration manual, then you need to join the channel as an elite or a platinum member. I will leave you a link here to check the channel membership program, which allows you to pay a monthly contribution to the channel in return to having access to member exclusive videos and also the configuration manuals. And we also have our own chat group on Slack where we can chat together as members and I'm always available there. So don't forget to check the channel membership program. Also, I would appreciate it if you share this video with your connections. Leave me your comments and questions. Let me know if you want me to explain any other points related to this topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.